You know the feeling. You're scrolling through some obstacles or screenshots and you say to yourself, Man, this looks so good. I should try that myself. You boot up AC. Go into a replay. You find the perfect moment to screenshot. You take the screenshot, but it looks nothing like the ones on the community tab. If you can relate to this, let me help you. Before we start, I just want to make sure that you have Content Manager, Custom Shader Dispatch, Soul, and a Post Processing Filter installed. All these things will make your screenshots look way better. If you don't have these things, just watch the video in the top right where I explain how to get these things. Now we need to get our Astacorsa set up correctly. First thing, open up your Assetto Corsa root folder, you can do it through Steam like this. Then go to the system folder, CFG folder and open up Assetto Corsa INI. Find the LO3 camera and change the value from 0 to 1. Secondly, jump into the settings of custom shaders patch. Make sure that nice screenshots is enabled in the settings. Put chip quality to 100%. And if you don't have a 4K screen, but want 4K screenshots, turn the resolution multiplier up to 2x. Okay, so once you are in the replay, first thing you want to do is uh, find the moment that you want to screenshot. I have chosen uh, this moment of me going through turn 3 at Le Mans in the River Venga. So I think it just looks nice, uh, me bouncing over the curb. So once you find it, very important step, press F5. You will get into this free cam that is uh, very important for the motion blur uh, later on. Then you turn on photo mode that's built into content manager. Then you can uh, change the time of day, depends on if you want to. I want my screenshot to be uh, in the night, so I'm just gonna make it dark uh, with this time offset thingy. Then I usually break, uh, break, leave brake lights and headlights on because uh, it can have nice reflections of, of the ground, car and the tarmac. It just looks really nice in my opinion. But that's uh, personal preference. What's pretty much not personal preference and almost everybody does it is they zoom in a lot. They just go into here and zoom in a lot because for 90% of, uh, of screenshots, zooming in just looks a lot better. If you go far from the car and zoom in, the car just looks big and nice and the, uh, the background also looks good. I don't know the signs behind it, but it just looks nice, so trust me on that one. Uh, then another important thing is uh, you want the car to be in focus. So hold control and just click on the car, which will make the car be in focus. And the last thing that is very important is this shutter speed slider. Pretty much what this does is the amount of motion blur in the background. So if you want little motion blur, just go for disabled or one a thousandth. But if you want more motion blur, go for a lower number like one eighth or something like that. So I usually go for like 60 or 100 and once you've got that set you can just press uh, F9 and then the screenshot will render and the background will be blurred with the car being all in focus. I can see that the 160 of is, uh, is a bit too much blur. And I might also add some rolls. I'm just gonna roll one two hundred, and then uh, I'm gonna render the screenshot again. And at this point, I think this is pretty much a job well done. When I look into the folder and bring up the screenshot, I think this is uh, pretty nice. And then we can move on to the last step of the process. And the last step of the process of making a really nice screenshot is uh, post-processing. I use Photoshop for that. This step is also optional, so if you don't want to do that, don't have Photoshop or any other reason that you don't want to do it, it doesn't really matter, but it makes the screenshot look just a bit nicer and uh, it will make everything pop a little bit more. So uh, as I've got a uh, 4K screenshot, I can uh, size it into this uh, 
uh, normal full HD window. So I'm just gonna make it this big and put it in the middle. Might just make the car a bit bigger than it was on the 4K, 4K screen. And then I'm just gonna go into filters and filter camera raw. And in this uh, in this window, I can change stuff like uh, the exposition, contrast, uh, lights, shadows, and everything that might be uh, nice to change. And this really depends on what style you want. If you want like a very contrasty dark style, because you've got this uh, night night screenshot with very bright lights that might be what you're going for so i might just like get the exposition bit up contrast a bit up and uh, i'm gonna go with the lights a bit up and shadows a bit down then you can uh, go into here and go with a vignette vignette always looks nice it like focuses the viewer's attention into the middle of the screen and it makes the car pop a bit more so i'm just gonna put minus 50 and make the vignette a bit more visible and also one more effect that i uh, use very uh, very often is uh, texture and clarity i usually just put the clarity up by 20 texture by a little bit as well and then you can go with um, these two sliders which will make the colors a bit more bright and it will make it a pop a bit more and as you can see this just looks a tad bit more interesting than this. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. And whilst you're at it, you can watch this uh, other video that YouTube thinks you'll like. So yeah, see ya.